Friday, the Eagles battled second-ranked Duke through two overtimes to a shootout where the Blue Devils ultimately won. Talk about the game and your team's effort. I think it was one of our best ACC games that we've played so far. Uh, cons consistency is a word that keeps coming up after our Friday games. Um, we have moments of brilliance, and then we have moments that our defense kind of lets us down, and they lapse a little bit. And the opponents are allow or we're allowing the opponents to get either ahead or back into games. So um, I think the effort was great. You know, we moved the ball well. Our defense did its job. Our defensive penalty corner unit did its job. Um, you know, and I thought in overtime when Duke got that yellow card with five minutes and we were up a player, we had a couple goal scoring opportunities that just didn't go in. And at that moment, I'm like, it's just one of those games um, that we could have won, we should have won, and we didn't. So, you know, after games like that, you can kind of have a letdown going into Sunday and, you know, going up against a tough UNH program who's always tough on the road. They always play really well at home and, um, you know, to be able to shut them out. You know, again, I think the effort was there, and you know, we keep having this lose on Friday, need to rebound, not just emotionally, but physically as well on Sunday, and I was proud of their effort uh, yesterday. So as you just said, you rebounded from a shutout win on the road to win on Sunday. Um, what have you seen in these rebound victories? Heart, I think it's hard, you know. Um, these guys just, we're in a really tough conference. Um, but. You know, any given day, any team can beat each other in the ACC, you know. So you put so much of your, you know, time and effort preparing for that game on Friday, and it's hard, it's intense, it's draining, um, whether you win or lose. And then you got to turn around two days later and then face another regional tough opponent. So, you know, mentally they have to get prepared. You know, we put them on a bus, and then they have to travel up there, and it's, you know, how much do you have left in your tank? And when the tank's empty, you gotta reach for the intangibles, and that's what they did. Lucy's only losses have come from other ACC teams, all of which are ranked in the top 15. What is the team focusing on with the result coming to town Friday? It's just the same thing, you know? Again, I think it's consistency. It's consistency with our technical skills. It's consistency with, you know, the ability to communicate, read what they're trying to do on attack, communicate on defense. We're not that far off, it's just, you know, the results aren't there for us, you know, and I, and I think from the player's perspective, that's the most disheartening thing is that they're going to look at their record and realize they haven't won in the ACC yet. It's not, it doesn't mean that we're not a good team, you know, and, and I know they think about that. So we just need a, a consistent game on Friday, and, and I think we'll be able to do that against a tough Louisville team. On Friday, the Eagles will honor the 1997 Big East Championship team at halftime, marking the 20th anniversary of winning the title. And on Sunday, BC will play in the play the 11th MS game honoring former player Kathleen Murphy. Talk about what it means to have your alumni back supporting your team. It's huge. You know, I want the alums to be around the program. I think they're a good influence on the current players. And, um, you know, obviously I wasn't here with the 97 team, so I, I'm looking forward to meeting those guys and having alums that I coached or didn't coach back over that weekend. And then, you know, with, with Murph, um, you know, with, with Ainsley, the former head coach, um, I got to meet Kathleen Murphy and was really inspired by her story. Um, and, you know, I know she was very, uh, she gave a lot of gratitude to the program that we can still honor her for that game. Um, but it's important for her to be around the team as well. You know, um, she gave a lot, she gave everything. She battled through a tough disease and still played field hockey. You know, we, t we talk about resiliency a lot with this team, and for them to see it face-to-face -face, I think is huge. So it's a, it's a pretty big weekend for us. We're looking forward to having everyone back on campus, and hopefully we can go 2-0 on the weekend.